Hey, it's Chris here from Easel. Welcome to another DIY design tutorial. I've been asked a few times if there's an easy way in Easel to drop images like gradients or textures into your type. And the answer is a big yes. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So I'm gonna start with this Instagram post that I've been working on. So I'll just click on that and open it up. So what I wanna do is add a image, it could be a texture or a gradient or any sort of image into my type. So I'll click on the type that I want that image applied to. I can select that and then go up to the top action bar and click on mask. That automatically opens up the images tab here on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna search for something like gradient. And you can see all the options that come up in Easel. I'm gonna um, choose this yellowy, pink, purple, Instagram-y gradient. So I'm just click on that and that automatically applies to the selected text. It also gives you a few different options up here. If I click on crop, it allows me to move that gradient image within the text that I've applied it to. I can enlarge it from the corners or bring it down. When I'm happy with the position of it, I'll just click crop. I've also got filter option up here. So with that still selected, I can click on these preset filters up here. I can also play around with the sliders. I might just boost up the saturation so it's nice and bright. And then I can go over to opacity. That's gonna change the transparency. If your text starts out white, then the image opacity will show through the white. So I'll just bring that back up to 100 because I wanna see my gradient. If you don't want that image within your text anymore, all you have to do is select this remove mask and it eliminates it. But I want that back in, so I'll just put that back in. So I wanna put that gradient into confetti as well, into my confetti text. So I'll do the same thing. I'll click on the text, go up to mask in the top action bar. So I'll just go and search for gradient again. So what I wanna do now is go to my filters and I'll go to show more. I'll play around with these. I'll just go back to normal. So what I wanna do is adjust the hue of that gradient. I wanna change the color of it. So you can see as I'm moving that slider across, I'm getting a different effect on the color. I'm gonna go for this like purpley, pinky sort of changing color. So once I'm happy with that, what I wanna do is use this little filter ID feature here. So I'll just copy it. I'll go back into my kindness text Go back up to mask again, which will give me the filter option for that mask. So I'll click on filters and I'll just paste in that filter ID. So I've duplicated the filter that I've used in confetti and I've put into my kindness text. So all I wanna do now is just change the background. So I'll just go for something that's on that sort of blue tone, maybe a bit darker, make that pop a bit more. And as you can see, that's a really simple way to add an image into your text and to replicate it across your design and make your design completely unique. So how easy was that? To liven up your designs by dropping a gradient image into your type and using the image filters to make it your own. Try it out on your next easel design and don't forget to check out our other videos for more tips like these. Leave a comment below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the content and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you never miss a new video or post. Thanks heaps for watching.